So let me give it a little throw. See how it flies. I got my endpoints maxed out at 150% right now. You can see it just makes it more agile. You can see it gets moving pretty quick when you max it out. Uh, default is going to be about here if you leave it to stock at 100%. So whatever you guys are comfortable flying, you can always max it out if you want to get more aggressive just to do fly around the yard, you know. And it handles the wind just fine. You can see there. Alright, let me put into agility mode to do a little bit of uh, tricks in here and there. Actually, oh, did it go into agility mode? There we go. Front flip there. Kind of lacking in power there for a little bit when the wind picked up. Backflip. Aileron flip. A little bit of uh, jagging the sticks there. Ah! <laughs> oh, cracked the body a little bit. So what Steve in the video did was this thing called the hacky sack. Let me try it out. First time attempting the hacky sack. Oh, that's pretty cool. Should have kicked it farther, but I was kind of afraid of, uh, you know, losing control and crashing it. Back into stability mode, or agility mode. Look there. Ooh, the wind's picking up. I think it's really hard to fly when the wind picks up in agility mode. So let me put it back into stability mode. Fly it around, I guess. <laughs> fly it around this tree over here. This little thing is tiny. I might attempt to do FP view of this one. I'm not sure an exact way it can handle. If it does, you know, if it can pick up at least 10 grams, then I might try my uh, little FPV setup just to see how it is. Yeah, but I have a feeling it might not be able to handle, you know, too much weight without getting into like trouble, like hot motors, you know, low life or whatever. Let me try to do some more flips, flip the switch. Oh. Yeah, one thing about flying outside is this thing kind of lacks in power, so if you fly in the wind, inside it does fine, but just make sure you have a lot more space to fly. You know, it's pretty, I would say it's fun to fly, just a uh, ladybird has a little bit more power than the Nano QX, but besides that, this thing flies excellent. I think I'm in stability mode, yep. Pop it up, you can see there. Got a little some flips going on here and there. Let me try to do this. Hopefully I don't crash it. There you go. That was pretty cool. Let me try to do some more. Let's do some flip. It doesn't work that way. You can't really do multiple flips in stability mode. You have to be upright for it to kick over. Uh oh. Look what happened here. I think I bent the motor or a prop. Nope. It's back just normal. <laughs> that was cool. Bent the prop there, but you just bend the back. You can see back to flying again. This little thing is a lot more durable than Ladybird for sure. And with the blade technology or the safe, I can fly into the shed. I'm going to fly to myself, but I'm not going to do that. So yeah, video's getting too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching.